into air at 30,000 feet, passing Cambridge. It's 49 time zoom. I did see there's another plane ahead of it somewhere. It's gone into cloud from my point of view, but there's another plane leaving a bit of the contrail. I can't see any more. Let's just uh, try and get as much of this as I can. It's a windy day, but I can hear the engines of this plane. That's 88 time zone, now it's going into cloud. It's going to get difficult to see it, so... I think what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll show you what, what control it's left behind. Oh, and there's a cloud rolling right over. It's going to be covering up a lot of what I was trying to film. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult to get. Yeah, you can see remnants of it, but... Uh, no, it's not going to be a really good control. Anyway, oh, here we go, plane's just popped out of a cloud. Looks like it's made a bit of a course change. It's now west of Cambridge, heading slightly northwest. And back into more cloud. Just want to get what's left behind. Always nice to see a Kalita, and it's definitely nice to see a 747. Don't see that. Oh, there's the other contrail, just to the... I just saw it. Oh, it's very hard to show you. Let's get the other one. Where is it? Almost impossible to see with the human eye. Uh, I forget it anyway. There's another plane going a different angle to that. Right, let's show you what that was on a radar screen. Give me a couple of seconds. And I'll show you what it was. So, I use ADSB Exchange first. So I got it after the plane had passed Halton, which is southwest of Cambridge. So 32,000 feet. It's just gone over. Just to the west of Huntingdon. Oh yeah, that must be the other plane I saw. The other plane I saw was an easy jet. The one you did see, the 747, was N768CK. Um, I'm going to switch to Flight Radar 24 now, because that has better info. Oh, there we go. Just got to get rid of some of these annoying messages you get when you first log into Facebook. Got to deal with all the cookies and cache nonsense. Right, there we go. So that came across and just before it got to the south end on the sea, it made that huge great course change. So it's come over near to Braintree, Thackstead, Duxford, it went over, Camborne. You get the idea. So that was Kalita Air. There's the call sign, there's the flight number. So it's going from Brussels to Chicago with cargo on board. Uh, it's got nearly eight hours still to go from where it is now of flight time. I've already said the reg, 32,000 feet, track 313, speed 487 miles an hour, so it's still climbing. And there's your hex code. Right, let's just show you what the other plane was. So the other plane that I could see that I was talking about, uh, that was going from Paris to Glasgow. Just, just for your information, in case anybody's interested in what I saw at the same time. That was an Airbus A319, GEZDX, that was at 38,000 feet. Much different course. It doesn't look that much different on the, on the map like that, but it was very different angle. I saw it. 460 miles an hour and the hex code of that. Right, click like if you like that, subscribe to me. If you click on playlists, you can find my other videos. I've got nearly 29,000 videos on YouTube now, so whenever you've got a break, watch some of my videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.